Hello everyone, my name is Susanna St. Germain and I'm an architect evangelist here at Salesforce. And today I'm going to show you how you can get started with Salesforce Shapes in Lucidchart in under two minutes for free. So let's get into it. To get to Lucidchart, you navigate to lucid.app in your browser. And if you don't have an account yet, you can easily sign up for a free account. You can also sign up and log in with your Gmail, which is what I'm going to do since I already have an account associated with my Gmail. Once you're logged in, you can start building a new diagram by clicking the blue New button on the left-hand side of the screen, selecting Lucidchart, then Blank Document. Great! So now I have a blank canvas to create whatever diagrams I want. But right now, all I have are standard elements like text boxes, arrows, and some basic shapes. To add Salesforce shapes or any other shapes library to my palette, all I need to do is click on this gray shapes button at the bottom left-hand side of the screen. And once I do that, I'm going to scroll down to the Salesforce architecture diagram shape library and click the box next to this library to select all of the elements. Next, click Use Selected Shapes, and voila! The Salesforce Shapes library has been added to your Lucidchart palette. You can now drag on elements like the header, cards to represent different entities, and icons to use with your cards. And that's it! In future videos, we'll show you how you can get started with Salesforce architecture templates in Lucidchart. So we hope to see you back here on the Salesforce Architects YouTube channel very soon. Until then, don't forget to like and subscribe if you found this content helpful. And of course, ring that bell so you'll get an alert anytime one of our new videos goes live. So I hope to see you again soon. And until then, I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye now.